video off. Video off, video off. Um, okay, it's morning, it's day one of uh, day in the life of an engineer. It's dark, got to get to work. Makeup free, as it usually starts. Formed any um, construction stereotype, but I'd like to stop off for a um, McDonald's it's Monday. So I don't have time for breakfast this morning because it's an early start. Sometimes, as occasion, I try and keep to eating healthy. Sometimes, if I can. Um, today is not going to be one of those days. <sighs> Dirty. 300 meters and if you have the roundabout, take the second exit to be. You give the whole world and every Christmas to have your child well again. Which tells me that the things I take for granted are what someone else is praying for. Here, I'm on site. Um, gotta get ready to go. Right, I'm gonna do my morning routine. Fact 50. Work outside so I don't want to look like a dinosaur. Smash that on. And then. Uh, it's not sunny, it is winter, but it protects you against all sorts of stuff. That's what I use. Okay, and then I use a BB cream again to protect. It's winter time, so. Put this on. <laughs> Smash this on. It has nothing to do with engineering, but I'm seeing a day in the life, so I'm gonna get a bit of everything. Oh, I know you're thinking now. Oh my god, beautiful. Wearing my glamorous head attire. Uh, concrete's turned up, as you can see. That little van there. Um, it's a bit of a mad rush.
jobs are good, as they say. Um, it's about two o'clock, so I'm gonna have a brew and then do a bit of survey. I'm not now gonna get my me do a survey and then I'm done for the day. It's about half two, so probably two o'clock. Basically, you've just got to survey to see how much volume of work is in that pub on it. clean my camera ran out of battery today is um, firstly these videos are quite hard to film because a I am trying not to film anyone on site uh, try not to get caught filming because you just get questions and people don't understand what you're trying to do so that's why I'm trying to get as much um, footage of me actually doing the work so you can understand what it is to do what I do but also trying to explain it um, because I know there's going to be a lot of people that aren't engineers that are watching this so I'm conscious of the fact that I'm missing stuff out. So I'm going to use the last couple of minutes of each of these daily videos to A, go through anything that I think has been missed out and B, um, answer some questions. So basically I've sent out a message on Facebook predominantly to um, female friends of mine and said look if you could ask one question to a female engineer what would it be? So I'm going to answer one of those questions every day in each one of these videos um, and hopefully give a bit of insight into my world and my perspective. It is only my perspective, there might be other female engineers out there who have different opinions. Um, that's fine, I'm just giving you my perspective, so do with it what you will. Um, okay, so firstly the one thing that I probably haven't explained is that I am a setting out engineer, stroke site engineer. Uh, so you will probably have heard of the term a civil engineer. So effectively, a civil engineer is quite a broad spectrum. Uh, you would go to university and do civil engineering, and there's a lot of civil engineers that go into engineering and then become a setting out engineer. So effectively, a setting out engineer is a type of engineer who works in the construction industry. Setting out basically means that you go out and you set out the job. Uh, lines, levels, um, location is effectively what you're doing. You're telling the guys that are building the project where to put things um, and how to build them as such. So that's pretty much the job. Right, on to the first question so I don't start waffling. And my battery's putting a die again. I will have to charge it. It's getting crazy. Okay, so the first question is from Lucy. What's the highlight of a day in the life of a female engineer? Uh, okay, I'll answer that one first. Um, a highlight of the day, probably, I like social interaction. So you, you get, I get put on a lot of different sites and I meet a lot of different subcontractors, guys that don't necessarily work for the company I work for. Um, I love the banter, I love chatting to people, learning about their lives. Um, just social interaction, really. But I would say the only thing that tops that is when you get sent out to a job, um, they're in a pickle. Sometimes the drawings don't really work. A lot of what an architect will draw like, obviously works in their head and works alongside a structural engineer's calculations. But the reality is when you're on site, you can't actually do what's on the drawing. So part of my job is to help come up with a solution. And when you help come up with a solution, um, and it works, people are pretty grateful, um, it pushes the job along and yeah, they appreciate your work. So I guess the answer to that would be when people appreciate my work and it's just like why everyone wants to feel wanted. So yeah, when you fulfill that then that's pretty much it, that's the good part of the day. When someone makes you a cup of tea is pretty good as well. Um, okay, surprising fact that most young women considering a career in engineering might not know. There's a lot of these, I think, which I'm trying to hopefully will answer over the series of this week. I would say probably a big one from looking at this video, it's not that much of a physical job. It is, there are parts of it where you have to be able to, you know, use a hammer, um, put a bit of force behind hammering in a peg or um, making a profile, but there are lots of setting out jobs um, 
that aren't massively physical and when I say it's within your capabilities no matter any size or shape uh, I'm five foot five like eight and a half stone maybe nine stone not sure I've eaten quite a lot of mince pies lately um, and I do go to the gym two sometimes three times a week if I can I work, I'm not massively you know sporty now I was uh, but the job keeps you fit so the great thing about it is you might feel kind of exhausted at the end of the day especially when you when you're starting out um, but you start to realize that you're growing a little few arm muscles you're not massive um, and yeah you, it keeps you fit so that's a good part but I think most girls would see it as being incredibly uh, you know physically hard but that's not the case um, but all the, there's loads of other things that I will also discuss over the week, which over the week, which are going to be surprising. I believe, I hope, um, to any perceptions that some females will will have. So I'm going to say, a good surprise is keeps you physically fit. Also, I'm going to slip in. Like it's not always about money, and it shouldn't be about money. It should be about that you must enjoy your job, which I do. But I think a lot of girls would be really surprised at um, the, the earning potential that you can have as an engineer and how quickly you are able to progress in the industry up to management and higher management level. Um, there's a lot of opportunities that I think females are missing out on because they're not choosing the career. And um, for the, the small amount of females that I do know that have been in contact with me through my blog, um, they're like at higher amount, and I'm talking like early 30s. Um, I started out as an engineer. I was in construction, but I didn't actually retrain to be a specifically setting out engineer until three years ago. Um, and what I've seen is a massive increase in um, rates for freelance engineers because there is a national shortage. But also, I've seen a massive opportunity. Um, and been offered a lot of opportunity to uh, climb the ladder as such. So there you go. All right, I'm going to end today's vlog there because I've waffled on for enough, but I will finish every single day this week. I'm going to keep it relatively short with an answer to a question that I've been given on Facebook. If anyone who doesn't know me is watching these videos by any slim chance and has a question, write it in the comments section below, um, and or you can get me on Twitter, uh, Shell Hands is my Twitter thing, I'll put that below, and also Facebook and my blog, thisismansworld.co.uk. Alright, over and out. Hi, that's me, my name's Michelle, and I'm a female engineer. Yes, that's right, female. It's 2016 and there just aren't enough females in the construction industry, so I've made this video to share some facts and figures and hopefully inspire more women to join the industry. Now let's take a look at the numbers, just to see how many of us there actually are. 